Does solar activity affect human happiness? Does solar activity affect our physiology, mood, mind, and overall health? Well, I've been wondering about that for a long time. I suspect the answer is yes, but I will talk more about this and this topic in this video. So let's get started. During increased levels of solar storms or solar flares, there are more explosions from the sun's surface, such as coronal mass ejection called CME. These events can cause severe geomagnetic disturbances in Earth's atmosphere and can disrupt electronic devices, shut down power grids, and interrupt important communications. But these increased solar events that we are all experiencing right now with the solar cycle 25 also impact and disrupt our health and well-being, much more than you might be aware of. Even these solar storms are invisible to our human eyes. A number of recent studies show that these events are affecting our overall health and our human body, especially those of us with chronic conditions, toxic bodies, liver congestion, and who are highly sensitive. Carolina Zilli Vieira, a researcher at the Harvard School of Public Health who studies environmental radiation, including the links between solar activity and human health, has published multiple studies on increased geomagnetic activity due to solar flares and our health. According to her research and publications, periods of intense solar explosions can disrupt the body's circadian rhythm, nervous system, heart rate, blood pressure, cognitive function, regulation of glucose, lungs, kidneys, and more. So people who are struggling with, say, liver disease, liver stagnation, blood sugar dysregulation, disease such as diabetes, heart conditions, kidney disease, and even asthma will be especially impacted by these geomagnetic disturbances. And just because you don't have these underlying conditions, this doesn't mean you are unaffected. An emerging body of research has linked intense solar activity and geomagnetic disturbances to impaired lung function, higher risk of an AFib event, perhaps because of the ionizing effects on increased levels of pollutants in the atmosphere. I've shared links to some of these scientific studies below for those of you that like to nerd out like I do. Join me and let's read these things. In my line of work, individuals have reported experiencing other health issues from increased solar activity, like headaches, mood changes, sleep disturbances, hormonal imbalances, increased anxiety, and anger. And I have recently read a study published in March of 2018 that states, quote, there is a statistically significant negative influence of solar activity on happiness, unquote. I can definitely see this being true from my own observations. I see that people are quick to anger and upset easily. I've also noticed that in my own reactions as well. Many people have been feeling irritable and impatient, including myself, and having emotions like frustration, resentment, even rage. Here's the interesting thing and the correlation that the, I'm making. If you have been following my work, you know that the, I will always bring your attention back to your physiology and biology. This is because the world around us is a mirror of what is happening inside us and vice versa. So let me take you on the correlation that the, I made here between the increased symptoms and behaviors and the increased solar activity. So headache, mood changes, sleep disturbances, hormonal imbalances, increased anxiety and anger that I mentioned earlier. These are the expressions of a stagnant and inflamed liver. So with increased solar activities still ramping up this fall, we have another reason to attend to the health of your liver. And what's interesting is that according to Dr. Vieira, the researcher at the Harvard School of Public Health I mentioned earlier, these high energy solar flares also appear to be linked to social unrest, possibly because of disruptions to the circadian rhythm, triggered emotions, and people acting more impulsively. And in Chinese medicine and energy medicine, we connect all these symptoms and emotions and struggles that the we and many of us 
are going through to congested liver. I will go into this more shortly. This year, we have had multiple periods of intense solar activities. We had an extreme period in the spring, especially around April and May. And we are most certainly heading into another one this fall. And August, we had a ton of solar activities as well. So it's kind of building up and building up as we go into September and October. And what caught my attention was that I personally didn't do my regular spring cleanse this year. And both my husband and I noticed how much these regularly occurring solar flares and coronal mass ejections, CME, have been impacting our physical, mental, and emotional bodies. Our sensitivity and irritability has certainly increased with particular challenges to mood and cognitive functions. So one thing I recommend to all of you watching this video is to do a fall cleanse especially a liver cleanse. Make sure you clear out the accumulated toxins and stress from your liver, which is already doing 500 plus important processes for you all day, every day. And it now appears that it's also having to process the added stressors from the solar flares. So maybe it's more than 500. You know, I usually tell my clients in my classes that liver does 600 things. And yeah, you know, in the medicine, functional medicine world, we say liver does 500 things. But if you incorporate some of the emotions and now with the solar flares and geomagnetic activities, I would say liver is doing far more than 500 things for you every day. And let's remember your liver health is directly connected to your hormone health because your liver processes hormones and other metabolites via the liver's phase one and phase two detoxification pathways. I won't go into details here about the phase one and phase two detoxification pathways, but make sure you are getting adequate nutrients such as B vitamins and especially like B1 and B6, glutathione, folic acid, magnesium, and selenium. These are so important for your phase one especially, but also phase two detoxification pathways. And many also recognize now that we actually have like 2.5 or phase three process. Besides the supplements I listed, I do love using herbal teas like milk thistle and dandelion root tea because they can stimulate your bile flow and make sure you address the energetic side of your liver health during this fall, especially if you didn't do a regular spring cleanse this year, like I didn't. It's really interesting. In Ayurveda, we believe that the residue of the toxins and toxic patterns will carry forward to the next season. If you don't do regular cleanses, and spring and fall are the ones that we recommend in, in Ayurveda practice. So I feel like I'm paying for that you know, not doing a spring cleanse right now. And that's why I think the liver is coming up. So I'm curious, you know, for those of you that actually did a nice, really good spring cleanse, maybe your responses or reactions to these increased solar flares and solar storms and geomagnetic activities are maybe less than some of us. And coming back to me paying for that, you know, not doing the spring cleanse is because of the added external stressors from the increased solar activities. I think this is the year that I really needed that spring cleanse that I failed to do. So that's why I'm going to be focusing quite a bit on my liver this fall. Use this time during the fall cleanse to process some of your old emotions as well and your old patterns that are keeping you stuck. I will be talking more about the fall cleanse, why it's so important to do it in the upcoming group calls and group programs. If you are interested in joining our 21-day group metabolic cleanse, please check out the link below. It'll be listed right below this video. We need more capacity inside us, inside our physical body, especially our liver, to process what is happening right now in the world and on the cosmic level, perhaps more than ever before. And one of the best ways to create the bigger and deeper capacity within you is to attend to your beautiful body that makes it possible for you to experience life. This solar cycle 25 isn't slowing or quieting down, and it will most likely be one of the most active and explosive cycles in our history. 
to learn more about this cycle as well as the one from September of 2001, please check out the video link below titled Unpredictable Nature of Solar Cycle. It's so important for us to understand that with so much going on already on the earthly level, these added solar and geomagnetic activities are taxing our system, especially our liver. The liver has the ability to raise our consciousness so we can reach our higher potential because it is an organ of alchemy. It converts toxins to golden light and creates clarity. And remember, liver is called the liver because it makes us live. But if your liver is congested, this is very difficult to achieve. Hope you can begin to support your liver this fall and create larger capacity to hold, discern, and metabolize all that we are experiencing, including these increased solar activities and geomagnetic activities as well. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate you giving me a thumbs up so others can find me in the YouTube universe. I also look forward to reading your comments below. Take really good care of yourself, everyone. Namaste.